Every minute matters for SpaceX as it works to get its Starship ready for launch. NASA and Elon Musk are both waiting for it since the spaceship is crucial to their space exploration plans. To fulfill the deadline, SpaceX engineers are hard at work developing and testing the Starship. The lower tier, i.e. the Super Heavy, has gotten less attention because it has never been as thoroughly tested as the ship. However, SpaceX will ultimately launch the Super Heavy in January how well is the booster prepared for flight? And which prototype will SpaceX launch? Come along as we take you behind the scenes of SpaceX's upcoming Super Heavy launch in January. But before that, hello and welcome back to our channel. We're back again today for the most trending and exciting news from the world of space. So get ready for a short trip to space. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to never miss out on any of our updates. It's nice to have the entire globe waiting on a product you're building since it ensures you won't run out of clients when it's ready. However, it can put a lot of pressure on you to get the goods out the door as soon as possible to satisfy your restless customers. Space exploration is a difficult enterprise in which everything must be faultless in order to avoid cataclysmic disasters. This is where SpaceX is with its Starship development. NASA is counting on it for its planned return to the moon in 2025. While there may appear to be plenty of time, it is a tight schedule in space mission preparation. During his highly anticipated Starship presentation on Thursday, Elon Musk had a wonderful visual aid to point to February 10th. That discussion is an update on Starship, the massive vehicle being developed by SpaceX to transport people and goods to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. Starship is made up of two entirely reusable components, a massive rocket known as Super Heavy and a 165-foot-tall spacecraft known as Starship. The show will feature a fully stocked Starship according to the billionaire entrepreneur. As far as backdrops go, this is a decent one, Musk tweeted on Sunday, February 6th. He was responding to a tweet from Tesla Roddy, which published a report on the Starship stacking on Sunday. At SpaceX's rocket development facilities in Boca Chica, Texas on Thursday, Musk stood in front of a jet black Starship fully stacked atop the 23-story Super Heavy booster that's meant to heave it into orbit. Dwarfed by the towering launch system, Musk told an assembled crowd that the rocket will soon be ready to roar into Earth's orbit for the first time. I feel at this point highly confident that we'll get to orbit this year, Musk said. Starship is the rocket on which Musk has pinned his hopes of colonizing Mars. Unlike any prior launch system, Starship Super Heavy is designed to be fully reusable. While NASA and its contractors discard the upper stages of their rockets, Starship is meant to land back on the ground to fly another day, just as the Super Heavy booster is built to land for reuse shortly after releasing the spaceship. Musk has said this reusability could slash the cost of reaching space by a factor of 100 or more. That's the breakthrough that's fundamentally important to change the course of human civilization to become a multi-planet species, he said Thursday. Ultimately, Musk has said he plans to build 1,000 starships that would carry people and cargo to Mars to establish a self-sustaining settlement. For now, NASA has chosen Starship to land astronauts on the lunar surface for the first time since 1972. That moon mission is set for 2025. Another billionaire, Yusaku Mizawa, has pinned his own space travel dreams on Starship, booking it for a ride around the moon as soon as next year. Before Starship can carry anybody anywhere, SpaceX has to prove it can safely fly to space and back. Our focus right now is just getting to orbit and proving out return of the booster and return of the ship, Musk said. Musk gave his launch prediction during the first Starship update presentation that he has shared since 2019. In that update more than two years ago, Musk presented his larger vision for the launch system and its Mars populating mission. SpaceX has made significant progress since then. After a series of six-mile-high test flights, which ended in Starship exploding, the rocket finally soared into the skies on May 5th, plummeting back to Earth and refired its engines just in time to flip upright and gently lower itself to the Boca Chica landing pad. That was just Starship, though. The rocket hasn't flown yet with its booster. 
A full orbital test flight would involve the Super Heavy booster launching from Boca Chica and pushing Starship into orbit. Musk has previously said he doesn't expect the first orbital launch to be successful. During a video call with members of the National Academy of Sciences in November, Musk said he wasn't confident that Starship would fall into Earth's orbit on its first attempt, but that he expects SpaceX will make that achievement in 2022. SpaceX officials had previously announced orbital launch target dates that the company failed to hit. In previous public statements, SpaceX executives forecast a Starship orbital launch in July 2021. It didn't happen. They missed their November 2021 launch target, too. In his November video call, Musk said the first orbital launch would happen in January and that SpaceX aims to carry out a dozen or more orbital test flights this year. Musk has previously admitted that he tends to be somewhat optimistic with respect to schedules. In his appearance on Thursday, though, he was much more reserved. This time, both the technological and regulatory stars could align for his prediction of a 2022 orbital test launch. The Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, expects to complete its environmental assessment of the Boca Chica launch site, which Musk calls Starbase, by the end of this month. SpaceX is required to have that assessment before it can conduct orbital Starship launches from Boca Chica. We don't have a ton of insight into where things stand with the FAA. We have gotten sort of a rough indication that there may be an approval in March, Musk said Thursday. He added that the Starship Super Heavy hardware should be ready to fly at around the same time. SpaceX is still working on a few upgrades, like adding more thrusters to the booster. I think we're close to having the hardware ready to go. Right now, I think we're tracking to have the regulatory approval and hardware readiness around the same time, Musk said. Hopefully, basically a couple of months for both. Depending on the FAA's findings, it's possible SpaceX may also need to produce a new environmental impact statement, which could take up to three years. SpaceX's plans to dig natural gas wells and build gas-fired power plants in Boca Chica could prolong the environmental review. If that happens, Musk said that SpaceX would finish building a new launch tower at its launch pad in Cape Canaveral, Florida, and launch Starship from there. That would mean a delay of six to eight months, he said. What are your thoughts on all this, and what do you think about this mission? Let us know in the comments section down below. We would be more than happy to hear from you. And with that, we wrap up today's video. Thank you all so much for being a part of our family. We appreciate your love and support of our channel. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you again tomorrow with more updates.